the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to python.org. You can do this in Google or whatever, um, but it can see that it auto IDs that I'm using Windows. So I'm just going to click download Python 3.10. It's going to load on this executable file locally to my computer. I'm going to open that up and give it a second. And we're going to want to make sure that we add Python 3.10 to path. The reason why this is important is because this is what allows you to, from your terminal or your you know, command shell, whatever PowerShell thing, um, if you type in Python, it will realize that Python is actually referring to this Python executable that we're installing. So if you don't do this and you're wondering why it doesn't do that, that's why. Um, and I'm also gonna choose to do a custom install here. I'm gonna leave all these defaults checked. Pip is the package manager, which is like you, which how you can download other people's packages. Um, so that's what that does. There's other things here, I'm not really gonna have to worry about them. Just keep them all. Um, and if you want to make sure everyone on your computer has it, you can. Um, and you can see that it's going to load Python to this specific install location. So I'm gonna copy this. Um, we can open up like a notepad or something right now. Um, so just do that. And I'm going to make a new window, paste that in here just so that we have it for future reference. I'm gonna click install, I'm gonna hit yes, and I'm gonna let this thing do its thing for the next few seconds. All right, bam. So we are done installing Python, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, we'll just keep this window open. Um, I wanna double check, so I'm going to open up a uh, computer, uh, Windows Explorer window here. And uh, it said that we should have it installed under C program files, Python 3.10. So in here, I'm gonna find the Python 3.10 folder. And in here, we can see that there's a little program called python.exe. So I'm gonna copy that path. And so the reason why I wanna know this path is because uh, in PyCharm, I have to point to this path so that it knows when I'm trying to run something like that Python file, that's where it's gonna actually call Python to interpret it. Um, another thing you can do to confirm that everything's working is you can open up PowerShell or you can open up uh, Command Prompt, doesn't really matter. Um, but if you type in Python, you should see that it puts you right in here into a little Python thing. So you can print, you know, uh, hello world and prove that it's working. And then to leave these things, you just hit or type in exit or exit with those little things. And so now you're outside of that. If you want to double check, you've got the right version of Python installed. You do Python dash dash version. I'm sorry, that's pretty small, but uh, those are the commands that I ran. So that's how we know it's good and it's running. Um, and finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my little PyCharm uh, window. And here you can see that it's saying it doesn't know how to run this thing when I keep trying to run it. So it's gonna ask me, you know, where is my Python located? Cause it doesn't know where my Python interpreter is. Um, so what I have to do here is I have to tell it where this thing lives. So if I go to, I'm gonna hit Control Shift A. Let me just hit cancel. Um, I'm going to type in Python and then interpreter, interpreter settings. And then this is where we have to uh, actually add it into this list. Hit add. And then we're gonna hit uh, base interpreter, which is good. So it can see that it's already identified Python 3.10 as being on our machine. So I'm gonna hit okay. Let it do its thing. Awesome. You can see it's got its tools already installed. We're gonna hit apply. And then it also goes through a whole indexing process the first time you do this. Uh, and so it might take it a few minutes, but for our purposes, it's now got a Python interpreter, which means that I can now run this thing. Um, and I might still get some errors because I'm importing some dependencies that it might not already have. So I'm gonna hit run and we'll see it blow up. So right now it's telling me it has no module called NumPy. Um, so this is bonus material. <laughs> what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to install these packages. And sometimes if you hover over it, um, you can see that PyCharm is smart enough to see that it needs to install this thing and it can already detect where it is. So um, we're gonna install the NumPy package. I'm also gonna install the SciPy package. And finally, we'll install the PyLab package. Um, all right, so I ran into a lot of issues with this PyLab import and my specific Python file. The way I resolved that was ironically, I installed a package called matplotlib, and I think matplotlib has some kind of internal reference as PyLab here. Um, and so the way I installed matplotlib is I went to Control Shift A, clicked on Switch Python Interpreter, and then we go to Interpreter Settings, and then in here I just hit Add. 
and then this is where you can type in matplotlib. And I've already installed it, so it's not gonna reinstall it, but you just hit this and then hit install package um, for anything that you're missing if you're running into issues like that. Um, but now that we've got all that stuff done and out of the way, when I run this thing, we can see that I'm successfully running my Python uh, interpreter now through my computer through, with the local install. So it's pretty cool. It's working as expected. And uh, now you guys have successfully installed Python and you're able to run little Python scripts. So hope this helps. Thank you for watching and be well.